with D-Lad? Um, Dante, um, you just updated us on uh, everything since you came to camp and so forth, and you know what it was like having to sit out again with the uh, on the reserve list. Well, it's been great just to get back to you know get back to speed and being out here with the guys, practicing, getting better and getting ready for the season. Uh, how do you think you fit into um, Coach Pease's uh, defense, and what was it like learning that over the off season, and you know then, then getting here and actually getting out and doing some of the stuff? I think I fit excellent in this defense. Uh, it's kind of similar to Wade Phillips, you know, uh, allows players to uh, be in a very good position to make plays. Rocky? Yeah, we haven't talked to you in a while. Uh, you took a pay cut to stay here. What, what was the decision to do that? Um, the decision was basically me understanding, um, you know, what happened last year and stuff like that. And uh, showing that I'm willing and I, that I want to be here for a good amount of time. And I felt like under the circumstances that we was in, I just felt like I could do my part to help the team get better in any type of way. So that's the reason why I did it. Was that a tough decision for you? Yes, it's a tough decision. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I had something to prove, uh, prove regardless. You know, I was hurt last year. You know, it is what it is. So I'm, you know, willing to make, I'm ready to make a statement to show you guys that, you know, last year was last year and we can put that behind us. Tori? I think the last time that we talked to you at the end of last season, you made the comment that you were going into the off season with a fire to, to kind of rework, I guess, your body and, and get to where you wanted to be. How was that process for you? And what was your off season work like? Well, it was great. It was down in Miami with Pete Bomaritos. Uh, you know, out there in the hot sun, no shade, and uh, he's one of the best, one of the best uh, strength coaches in the in the uh, United States when it comes to that stuff. So, um, I really, you know, take my hats off to Pete Bonaritos. Also, my guy, at, um, what is called uh, SOAs, something like that. Uh, he did a really good job of you know getting me right too. I can't think of his name at the top of my head right now, but. I appreciate him, too. What, what did that work look like? What was your goal of, of the offseason? Uh, just being more explosive. I felt like I wasn't as explosive as I was in the past year slash year. And, um, you know, building the little small things up yeah, so I won't be able to have them little lingering injuries anymore coming into the year and getting stronger. Scott? Do you feel like – I, I know we're just out here on the practice field, but do you feel like the explosiveness, the burst off the ball is there? Can you feel it as yeah. you might consume? Yeah, it's definitely there. I feel way much better than I felt uh, last year uh, at uh, around this time. So um, I think it's the hard, uh, the work that I was doing in offseason, season, focusing on being more explosive, um, my approach, the way I rush the passer and everything like that. I feel pretty good about it. Um, Coach had said that you've been kind of pushing to do maybe more when they've been trying to limit you. Um, do you feel like you're ready, you know, full go this week? I mean, the Dolphins will be joint practices and things like that. Yeah, that's just the type of player that I am. You know, I've been out for a week, so I was ready to get in action just to show them what I was about. But when it comes to, you know, taking care of their players, um, I'm not going to, you know, question them on that. I feel like at this point, if I get, you know, a couple reps off or something like that after doing a good, you know, good reps, I think that's that's very much needed. So I appreciate them for that. What you lean on mentally to get you through last year, knowing that when you're healthy, you can do what you want to do? And uh, Really just, it is what it is. It was just one of them things, you know, I was hurt. DQ, I came, you know, that was my guy. So I felt like it was only right to, you know, play for him. Um, it was times where I probably should have went to IR, but I didn't. And it is what it is. And, um, you know, I just learn, basically live and learn and just learn from it and grow from it. So you look at this now as just a fresh start in terms of mental yeah, capacity, healthy. physical. I'm healthy. It is what it is, so I'm ready to go. Yeah, um, could you paint a picture for us on how this defense is going to come together? There's a lot of new pieces. Uh, it looked exciting seeing the young kids coming from all over uh, in the last game. How do you envision this whole thing coming together for, for the unit? Uh, you know, just all being on one accord, one band, one sound. Uh, I think if we can do that in this do defense, everybody play their job and do their role. Um, we can make a, a, a great play every play. Uh, Coach Pease does a real good job of drawing stuff up, 
getting pressure on the quarterback, setting up uh, big plays, interceptions, all type of stuff. So all we got to do is just do our job. They tell me don't put too much stock in the four sacks. Did y'all get hyped when y'all saw Jalen come yeah. free? And yeah, that was pretty. That was that was dope. Just to see Jalen out there making plays, see the defense uh, defense line out there making plays. Jonathan Bullard got to make a play. I haven't seen him make a sack since college, so <laughs> that was pretty cool. You know, it brought me back to the UF days and Ben Hill Griffin Stadium, but that was really cool and nice. And um, Ade did a really good job. Tui did a good job of rushing the passer when he was in there. So. I was very excited to see um, what it's going to be like. Last question, Rossi. Yeah, yeah. Two. First, when you do come back and you find you're on the COVID list, what's going through your head? Because, like, like we're talking, it's different things that you thought you had something to prove, and then you're sick and you're out. What's going through your head? Uh, just to, you know, try to stay in tip-top shape. Uh, and basically show them when I'm when I come back that I wasn't that much behind and that I could catch up ASAP. Just you. Your family has had some Yeah, and I'm just keep it off the field too. Uh, about UF, how's Kyle looking up there? Uh, any rookie hazing yet with him? Nah, uh, Kyle, uh, he, he, he does his thing though. He's a very great guy, uh, a great player, uh, pretty strong. Uh, so um, I think he's going to make a lot of great plays and do a lot of great things for the Atlanta Falcons. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you.